Oh my god, no. Flip it, bro. Right. Flip it. Oh. You lean pretty, yeah. You were leaning pretty far compared to the whole. What are we doing here, man? I, I have no idea. I mean, look, 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 look. look. look at that sky. It looks beautiful, man. It this is the perfect weather to do this because we are about to test the Pro Angler 14 and this one. I want to see how safe they are. We want to see how easy or not it is to flip them and get back on them. That's right. Well, we have a thunderstorm coming. Pray for me, guys. You got to give some love to Jeff. If you happen to see this video, he's going to make a video just like better than this one. So go and subscribe and watch his video and all of the other videos he has. Right. Thank you. Not Thank just you, subscribing, like watching. Please. Oh my god, this is ugly, dude. Look, hurry up, man. Jeez. Bro, it's going to the east. Sketchy as hell. What are the odds that there's a person fishing here with a storm? You got anything? Oh, man. Okay, this looks sketchy as hell, man. Here we may have enough room to do it. I don't think it's safe to put two boats. Here's what I propose. I should flip it. Okay. And then if you uh, want to flip it after, you can flip it. All right. And then we'll see. Let's try that. Oh my God, this is bad, man. Yeah, Look, over here, we could flip it and we, I could get back quick. Anyways, worst case scenario, the, the thing ends there. It ends right there. I forgot one thing. What? The pedal drive. It's in the truck. Forget the pedal drive, dude. We don't need it. Guys, we're going to try to at least get a flip. And then we're going to get together again and do this video properly. Yes. Because I think Jeff is like, um, um, oh, what's the word, Jeff? You're terrified. I'm I'm, I'm a bit terrified right now. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, I'm excited about this. I'm afraid. It's Look how windy it is, man. Put this thing. Yeah, yeah, okay. It'll be fine, man. Don't it'll worry be about fine. It. There's okay. nothing in there anyway. All right, let's get it. Let's get it on the water, man. Wait, 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 wait! Don't move. Careful with the rocks. Yeah. You tell me. Okay. Okay, hold on. All right. No sound. Okay. I'm gonna flip it right here. Okay, yeah. So you want to record with your camera? I can do it with my camera. You are going to hold on to that one or? Yeah, I'm going to try to. Okay. If I don't recover this kayak, I owe him $4,000. <laughs> Battery. <laughs> Battery, I'll take that down. Don't worry. See, let's bring it in. I'm going to take my shoes off. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh my God, guys. We're about to flip this pro angler here and this is a test I wanted to do for a long time, but like I couldn't do it by myself. Jeff is here in case something happens, he'll like... <laughs> Jeff, this is sketchy as hell, man. It really is sketchy, dude. <laughs> oh my God, here not bad. Okay. If I move a little, it's gonna throw me back. I think I'm gonna flip it right now. Whew. Wow, feels like you are on some sort of like palace, man. <laughs> Oh, oh, my hat is gone. Forget the hat, bro. He's doing this. He is determined to flip this kayak right now. <laughs> Whoop! It's huge, though. Let me move back here. Oh, the hat is here. Let me go get it. Yeah, I'm recovering. You see this current? Whoa! This is freaking nuts. Crazy. Let's go ahead and flip it, man. Hopefully your paddle doesn't fly away. <laughs> okay. Ready? Oh my god. Let me we're gonna get so much hate for this bro. <laughs> oh look guys, we're gonna have to do a proper flipping video next time, but like See how he, easy that was? He did it. I was holding my hand because I, I needed to make it quick. This is nice. Actually, it's not bad. Where, where I am, there's no current. You oh, want, there's no current right yeah, there? Yeah, you want to flip the other one too? We can try. Okay, where's my hat? It's right behind you, right behind you. All right. I'm going to try to flip the pro angler. This thing is huge. Normally, on a big kayak, you want to have like a rope or something.
it's so wide that you you you're I mean you're not able to get to the other side. So you definitely want to have a rope or something. Yeah. Do you have a strap? Uh, it should be in the hatch. Uh, let's do that because there's a there's a uh, what is it a uh, breast gripper in the. Uh, I could probably take my time on doing it, but ooh, it's gonna be hard to do it. Yeah. Let me do the strap. Can you open up the hatch. Oh, look at that hatch open already. Now I know what not to do. You definitely need the strap, man. Yeah. Um. Where is, it, where is this truck? No, it was, it was that. It was the brush gripper. That's the only strap that I have. Oh man, this is bad. Yeah. See how much water you got in there? Yeah. And luckily, you got this here. So. You got a little bilge pump here. Right. Just in case. Always take this with you because look how much water, man. Yep. Here, hopefully this works. Yeah. I doubt it, but... Yeah, you can do that. Oh, man, it's, you better hurry up, man. It's about to get really, really bad. All right, we're going to have to flip for standing up. Yep. So I'm going to do a quick flip because conditions are horrible. Yeah, these conditions are really bad. All right, ready? See? Actually, yeah, like, where's, my <laughs> where's my kayak? Where's my kayak? Oh my god, where's my kayak? So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over the kayak. That's a little opening right here. So I grab that to get over the kayak. And then hopefully my strap is still here. <laughs> and I'm gonna get out, turn the boat around, and do this again. It is raining right now. It's oh, bro, this is so cool. <laughs> so we got a strap here. See how much easier it was jumping with a strap? Like, so easy. And to flip the back. Look how easy you be able to flip that thing back. Bro. The strap makes it so much easier to flip it. I'm flip. Yeah, if it wasn't for that strap, like it would be nearly impossible to get that thing back to. But look, 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 look exactly what she said. Look at all that water that came into the front hatch, and then look at, you know, look at how uh, how deep in the water that front end is right now. Yeah. So, bro, this is a problem here. This right here is dangerous. Yeah, the minute you flip over, I mean, the kayak can just put, you know, get filled with water. Yeah, so let's get some of that water out. Oh my god, no, not, not even safe to do it here. Yeah, I wouldn't do it there. <laughs> I'm gonna jump off. Yeah. Oh. oh no, bro, this is too much fun. We gotta flip it again. <laughs> Guys, we're not cutting anything. This is just going going on just like this, unedited. That's it. <laughs> you know what? That's a good idea. Yeah, exactly. Do yours like one take. Without editing, so they see that mine, I'm gonna try to. Yep, but look at all that water. Look at all that water coming out of that hatch. Oh my god. Look, and, and the problem now, guys, is this water here makes the boat very unstable. So if you're unsure and you got water in, it's gonna be easier to flip again. So take your time and take it out. Like, before you get in yourself, maybe try to build it. Let me see if that is even possible. So I'm here floating because my, I have my flotation device well normally it will work if this works <laughs> technical difficulties i'm here floating yeah you can do it i mean maybe a bucket will work better though so now that i know how the boat behaves now that i know i'm safe here because the current is not ripping here i'm gonna try to see normally what it takes to flip it and a boat like this is very forgiving, you know? You want the paddle? No. Okay. I'm here, minding my own business, trying to get a paddle. See what happens. Oh, oh my God. Too much. 
Too much reach. Too much. Bro, that was easier than a lot of kayaks. Normally, a smaller, a different kayak, you will have to like hold it so it flips with you. This you will fall off. This one, you saw I wasn't holding it. I flip. Use the boat stuff. Okay? Look, I'm gonna try to do it without holding it, the thing. See what happens. I did it! Woo! I did it! Do you see what I did? I see exactly what you did. You alright man? You look a little exhausted. Bro! This is amazing! The water is amazing! It feels amazing! I learned how to unflip it back without a strap. Let me show you guys how. Woo, 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 woo. So, the boat is very wide in the middle. I'm a small guy, 5'11 on a good day. I'm not big enough to reach on the other side and grab it and flip it back. I need some sort of like strap or something. It was super easy with that. But the boat is very narrow here and you get the drive well here. So if you flip this boat, it's very easy just to reach here and jump over and do the same thing and do the same thing that you will with a smaller kayak, with a slimmer kayak hope that helps you one day now we need to get Jeff to flip the old town you gonna flip this thing now? I'm gonna try I got your back bro okay. if something happens to you, I'll call 911 no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are you gonna flip it? That's a good question, I have no idea. All you have to do is lean to one side. To one side? Where's the deeper side? This way? Lean to me, because I need to catch you on video. Cause... You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, bro, it's so nice now, man. It is, yeah. Now now it's really nice. Bro, now, like... <laughs> Come on, Jeff. I'll tell you what. Just, just pedal forward. In, just getting in right now. Um, it doesn't tip over as much as like uh, you know, like getting on the on the triangular. I'll tell you that. And this is a smaller kayak. And you see, but you're sitting high. I can see you flipping it really easy, though. Yeah. All right. So turn around and flip it in front of the camera. All right. Jeff got owned 120 PDL by Old Town. That's it. And I'm gonna let him do the talking. I can get closer to here. There you go. And remember, you got instant reverse. Yeah, I got the instant reverse. Well, I'm trying to get out of the channel because I feel the current pushing me. Yeah. Pedal hard, bro. Alex was nice enough to let me get on Old Town, and uh, we're gonna try and flip it. See what's easier to flip, this or the uh, or the Hobie. So yeah, but you gotta give me a kick. Give me a kick. All right. All right. Oh my God, the Hobie would have flipped already. <laughs> flip it, bro. I'm trying. Flip it. I'm trying. Get that thing. Flip it. Lean to the side. Lean to the side. There you go. Goodness, man! It took you like ten hours. <laughs> yeah, this was a lot harder to flip Gra than the. Uh... Just grab it with two hands. Two hey, hands? Yeah, keep pushing. There you go. Do it hard. Come on. Here, let's switch places, man. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tell you right now. This <laughs> this PFD is uncomfortable. <laughs> Whoa! DPA would have flipped here already. Easy. Look at how far he's leaning. And he's not lying. That Hobie would have just flipped right. right then and there. It would have flipped already. Let me see if I can keep going. Oh god! Look how far he's leaning. Oh! You lean pretty yeah, you were leaning pretty far compared to the Hobie, I'll tell yeah, you. Yeah, I mean both of them flipped. Right. But there was a time that I could have gone back. Like, I, I had enough time to actually go back to my seat and be fine. The hobby you know, would have been on the water already. That's the difference. But you only know that if you practice. So practice! That's now, you guys, you're, you're never going to know the limits of your kayak unless you go out there and actually practice. So. The way that you flip this back, just grab this right here. And get away from it. Don't let it hit you in the face. <laughs> it did and then not hit me in the like face. <laughs> Like this, try not to show your underwear and 
You're on the boat. Let's see how much water is in here before this camera stops okay, recording. So, you know, in all fairness, we're just gonna go see how much water is in the hatch. Ooh, man. Other than a few drops that just fell in. Wait, then let's lift up from over there. And people are gonna say, oh, but the hobby, you, you flipped it multiple times. Look, it only took one and all that water got in, okay? Yeah, absolutely. So. Well, look at that, just exactly what I did before. I pushed the bow down. Look at that. How much water? Small little puddle. Okay. Won't even cover my hand. Guys, back at the trucks and that's what I wanted to show you. Still, all that water. All that water in the Hobie. Damn, man. Look at that. I also did switch the uh, the straps right here, so just to be fair, okay, I did what the, um, you know, the straps usually just go off to the sides right here on the Hobie. What what I did just to make it easier for me, uh, just to open the hatch was, you know, I put one bungee cord here in the front. So I'll also take that into consideration as to why some water came in, but um, even having both straps down here, I, I think some water still would have gotten in and it would have been probably just the same amount, in my opinion. 